Hi, and welcome to our video series dedicated to UserLock SSO. In the previous videos, we've seen how to activate the SSO feature and configure a backup server. Now we're going to look at how to renew the SAML certificate. As a reminder, the SAML certificate is a critical component of the SAML protocol, since it establishes the trusted link between the service provider, in this case, Microsoft 365, and the identity provider, UserLock SSO. In the UserLock console in the SSO settings, we can see the two dates related to the SAML certificate, the expiration date and the date of the renewal. These dates are one month apart. This is to give the administrator time to update the SAML certificate on the UserLock SSO side and on the SAS application side. When the SAML certificate is due for renewal, there are several ways the administrator can be alerted. First, in the console, an icon appears near the SSO section in the left panel. Second, a message is visible in the SSO settings tab. And last but not least, since the administrator does not necessarily open the UserLock console every day, an email alert is sent to the administrator if the email address has been entered in the security sections of the server properties. So you can get an alert when it's time to renew the certificate without opening the console. We recommend installing the new certificate outside of regular office hours. This is because installation requires a restart of the SSO service, which temporarily prevents the service from receiving authentication requests. In addition, as long as the certificate of the SAS application side is not up to date, users will not be able to connect. This is why the update is manual and should preferably be done when there is less activity. To update the certificates, you just have to click here and allow the service to restart. Now that the certificate is up to date on the UserLock SSO side, we will perform the same operation on the Microsoft 365 side. To do this, we will launch the Office Configuration Tool. Then we refederate the domain to update the certificate at the same time as the parameters. Now that the Samuel certificate has been updated on the Microsoft 365 side, let's perform a connection test with our user ARIA to make sure that everything is working smoothly with the SSO. And the session has opened successfully and our procedure is complete. Thank you for watching this video. To conduct your own test with this feature, you can download a fully functional trial of UserLock from our website. Thank you.